Hi, this is Mark from Productive Computing, and in this video, we're going to talk about FileMaker Go. Released with the FileMaker 17 platform is a feature on FileMaker Go called Autocomplete. This allows your life to be easier when you're entering in drop down lists from your iOS devices. Stay tuned, and we'll take a look at this neat feature. So what's this feature all about? If we take a look at the FileMaker website here, we can find this feature if we scroll down a little bit, and it's called Autocomplete. Let me just read to you the actual description from FileMaker here. It's enter data faster with more accuracy in FileMaker Go using Autocomplete in text fields. Type a letter or two and instantly see a list of drop-down items that match what you're typing. Okay, so this is something that we've had in the FileMaker Pro product for years, really. So they're bringing this feature to the FileMaker Go side of things, and it really is handy. So you might be asking yourself, wait, didn't we always have drop-down lists in FileMaker Go? What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is how those drop-down lists behave. By typing a few characters, you'll see here what I mean in a minute. So let's go take a look at this now directly. Okay, first you have to see how this is set up. I've got FileMaker 17 here running, FileMaker Pro Advanced, that is, and I have a Core 5 CRM solution the point I want to bring to your attention is this search field. Now you can see here on the pro version, I just simply click there, I receive a nice drop down list of searchable items. So if I were to type here into this search field and type SA, notice how it brings me to Sabrina, which is at the bottom of the list. So, which is the behavior that we're used to, and perhaps that's not a bad way to do it. But if I were to type SAM, then it brings me to the next iteration of that SA with the letter M added. All right, but the point I'm trying to make here is this is how it works in Pro. And take special note of where that SAM is located. It's at the bottom of the list. Let's go look at this on FileMaker Go now, 17, and see what we can see. So here we see FileMaker Go running on my iPad. Essentially, I am piggybacking off the Pro version you just saw. I'm sharing that directly from my desktop today. And I'm going to use my finger and just place it in the search field here. Of course, I'm seeing the exact same drop-down list that I've seen in previous versions of FileMaker Go, but with a notable exception. This time, I'm going to type S. And notice where the first S is. It's not at the bottom of the list. It's in the middle of the list. Sabrina now is in the middle, which I think is actually a little better. A. Now, this is an interesting behavior it went right to R and I don't see SA. It is here on my list as I move up and down with my finger. Let's type M. Okay, and then Sam is in the middle. All right, now let's just take a look at this in portrait view because I think it has a stronger presentation. So let me clear Sam out and try that again with a different uh, name. Let's just say Peter. So P and the first of the P's, in this case Pablo, is in the middle of the list. I'll type E, and now you see Pearl is in the middle of the list. T, now P-E-T, Pete is in the middle of the list. If I type E-R, I should now have Peter in the middle of the list, which I do. So that's how the new autocomplete feature works on FileMaker Go. I think it's extremely handy to have this feature. Um, I was testing it here now with 5,000 records. Uh, I realize that it is a little slow when you're doing it with a lot of records. I tested it with 350,000 and I also tested it with a million. And at those higher numbers, the list is slower to draw and slower to activate, which we would expect uh, would be the case. But for the most part, I think this will be used on the Go platform, which intends to have more of a filtered, refined list of things to select from. And I would imagine that most people will likely have, let's just say, 10,000 entries or less when they're picking from these autocomplete lists. It's not necessarily the case, but it probably will be the case in most cases. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.